Hey everyone, so I've not shared a How I Organise video for a while, so I thought I would share this one because I'm just putting this one in place. So I've already stuck three of them up. So basically I purchased these floating shelves from Amazon. You get two in a pack and they were 15 99 but that's because I wanted the white. You can see there's all different colours there. So I think they do vary in price. So I'll share the link to this one, but do have a little shop around because you might find ones, you know, cheaper or just different styles. So basically how they come is like this and then I've stuck these on the back so you get all the stickers enough to cover the two so there's five for each so I've just popped them on the back there now they have theirs so that the larger you can see here with the with the circle is the bottom that's the what you would pop you know they this hole is to put wires through and things like that but you can see here what they've got they've got like one of the little you know speakers and um, some other bits there but I actually am having mine so that that is on the well I'm actually popping these onto my doors of my shelves or shelving unit and then I'm going to have my blending brushes on this part here so it's actually going to have a lot more stuck onto the you know whether it be your wall or wherever you're putting them but I just wanted something I didn't want them this way because it was just too much shelf and you'll see in a moment where I'm putting them so I wanted them to be this way now these are my storage for the blending brushes and I've shared this in my craft room tour now I used to have them in the window on my windowsill but because now I've got my storage desk caddy it kind of just gets in the way of it and when I close my blinds and stuff it was just kind of irritating me to be honest so I wanted a way to have these displayed where they wouldn't be in the way with of anything else so if I'm just pan up here you can see this has all been in my craft room tour before but I've basically got them now on the doors of this shelving cupboard unit whatever you want to call it and it's I've had these up now for just over a week and I've been meaning to do this one but I've had my birthday and things going on so I've now got the chance to get this last one stuck up but I also wanted to check that they were going to work because I don't want to put something out there and then you know they fall off but I made sure I cleaned this surface I'm going to be popping this one up onto here in a moment so I've just cleaned all of that surface ready. And then, like I said, each of these has five of those 3M sticky pads on the back. And then I've just popped them in rainbow order. But the brushes and everything I have already linked, but I will link it all below this video. But you can see here how this is going to hold it. And what I've also done, and I'll show you in a moment, is I've just put some, I will put some, a strip of clear double-sided tape here just to hold this in place. I just pan back up again here. These are secure on here. So you can see I can open the door, you know, nothing's, you know, in the way there. They move quite nicely. And I can just close that up again. So I'm just going to get that other one in place and I'll show you it finished. So that's it all now stuck down. You can actually see how strong that is just with the double sided tape. I can hold this and it will open the cupboard door. But what I would also suggest is popping the shelf up and then leaving it for 24 hours. A lot of the 3M tapes and you might command strips, things like that, they usually say to stick them on, leave them for 24 hours and then, you know, pop whatever it is that you want to on them so that they've got time to, you know, basically adhere and for that adhesive to work. But I'm really pleased with this. I think if you're lacking any kind of wall space or surface space and you just want things like this to be kept out of the way, then this is possibly, I think, a good idea. I really like it. It suits the style of my craft room and it's the colours, you know, I've got rainbow pretty much everywhere in this room. And then if I just bring it back down again, you can see it's just above all of my Nouveau drops there. All of this storage and everything has already been shared on my How I Organise. I've got a playlist full of all different things that I've done in my craft room along with the craft room tour. So if you've missed that and you'd like to see any of it, I will link it now and I'll just show you again the item here. You also get a bag of these little wire tidies so if you are having anything on there maybe you want to you know you quite like the thought of this shelf or something else then you do get the little wire tidies there as well but like i said i will link this in the description box below but i hope some of you find this useful you know maybe just gives you an idea might not be blending brushes you might have something else that you want to pop on there but uh yeah i thought i would share it with you all today thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye